Tim Sullivan here with Flux Pumps today to talk about our lineup of motors. I'm holding a sample pump tube and I want to demonstrate that any motor here will fit any, any of our tube sets. You can see the, uh, the motor has a threaded uh, inlet and it simply positions over the top of the tube. You rotate the union nut and the pump is ready to be immersed and to go into action. The uh, most popular motor, and this, these uh, first three are our non-metallic motors, are, is the um, FEM 4070. This is a, a variable speed motor. It's rated for 500 watt, and it is uh, an open, considered to be an open motor, but still very corrosion resistant. Its bigger brother, the more powerful F457, is uh, 800 watts, and also available and a 457EL, which is a variable speed version. Next we get to the, uh, the totally enclosed fan cooled uh, F458 and 458-1. Uh, we have uh, one version, 460 watt, and the dash one is 700 watt. The next, this motor and the next uh, um, two, three, I should say, all have uh, corrosion-resistant paint. They're all metal, metallic uh, motors, but uh, very corrosion-resistant both externally and internally. The silver motors are explosion-proof, and the first one here is the 460, and we have a 460-1, again, 460 watt and 700 watt. And these are explosion-proof motors, as mentioned. Now, all of these motors so far are, are what we call uh, brush motors. And the brushes are a wearing part that lasts, say, 500 to 1,000 hours. Now, there are times when someone will prefer to put one of our pumps into a continuous duty application. And then we go with the FBM 4000, which is a brushless motor that can run 24-7. Uh, As I said, it's explosion proof and it's also variable speed. The last motor of the electric version is the uh, F414 uh, series. And this is uh, a three phase motor. And it's, as you may see or notice, it's a gear motor. And typically gear motors gear down in speed. This one gears up because as I said, uh, or may have said, these motors run 10,000 RPM. So this is 3450 and with the gearbox, gears up to 10,000. Horsepower wise, there's different versions, but the most powerful is 1100 watt or 1.1 uh, kW. Now we get to the air motors. So we have a 416-1 and the 416 with the handle and the trigger. Uh, again, explosion proof. And the 416, each time you operate it, it's necessary to turn on the, turn the air and turn it off when you're done, whereas with the dash one, the 416, we have the handle and the trigger. The trigger can be locked on, but in this instance, you can set the air pressure and then use the trigger for on-off control, and your performance is always the same. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, before I forget, all of this motor information can be found in our drum and container pump brochure, available in a hard copy or as a PDF. Thank you.